Welcome everyone to my new YouTube channel. The last one I have is for wrestling reviews. This one is going to be mostly about movie and TV series reviews like Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 5. Now when the series began in 2008, it got popular. A lot of people enjoyed it because they got to see a lot of action. They got to see some surprises. They see they got to see some new characters that they never saw before in the series. Some characters that we did know and we did see in the other series, like uh, from the movies, from the mini Clone Wars series, but we never got to know a lot about them. We had that in the, in the series. But then we got to season five and a lot of things changed. I mean, we got to see a lot of cool action, like Death Watch uh, at, going against each other at war on Mandalore. We got to see Darth Sidious for the first time ever um, in action, at least in the in the series, and go up against Savage Press and Darth Maul. That was awesome. But despite all all the awesomeness of this thing of this of the season, what disappointed me was how they ended it with Ahsoka. First, she got framed for murder, then she was kicked out of the Jedi Order, but nobody believed her except for her master and Padme. And she was almost found guilty for murder until Anakin brought in the real culprit, who turned out to be Barriss Sophie. Now that surprised me, because I I can't see Barriss as the bad guy, but it was a nice twist there, because, you know, Barriss explained her reasons, and we got to learn a lot about why she did turn from all these different theories from these other people, and all good theories, and... It actually did make sense, especially how this, how the war has been going on, how it's like it. Especially if you if you look back at the episode where involved Krell, who led, who got his clones to kill one another, and it led to the clones trying to stop him, trying to kill him, and you know what, what happened with Barris. I mean, she snapped and she did what she thought was right. Ahsoka left the Jedi Order feeling that she couldn't trust the Jedi for not believing her or trusting her. You know, it was sad. For me, it was sad because she was an, she's an awesome character and she did so well in the series. And the fact that they ended it with her going out like that, very disappointing. But at the same time, that was a nice surprise there, what they did. Now we know she's going to probably be appearing in the Star Wars Rebel series. There's rumors that she is. I'm not sure, but I hope when she does, we find out some things about what happened to her after she left. Is she with Lux? Is she still using the Force or anything like that? It, it will be something we're all, all people will probably be hoping to learn. And... I can tell you right now, look, this season, it's definitely worth buying, it's definitely worth seeing, except for some episodes, uh, like the ones involving these astro droids and this little alien, really not worth watching, it, at least in my opinion, if you guys don't like that kind of stuff, then don't watch this, for your own sanity, don't, but other than that, this is a good season, and I think one of the best ones of the other seasons, and it's definitely worth watching. So if you guys want to watch this, you can definitely find it online, or you can buy it on DVD or Blu-ray. Either way, you guys want that or not. I don't know. It's not really up to me. I can't control you people. I can't control anybody. If I could, I would control the world to stop being fucking assholes. That's it, everybody. If you guys have some different opinions of what you thought about this season and what you think could have gone differently with these episodes, leave some comments below and let me know what you think. And I will see you all next time. I'll probably be doing a movie. I'll probably be doing a TV series. Either way, I don't think it matters. What matters is I'm here to entertain you guys. And I'm here to bring you the love.